Okay, boys and girls, uh, we're going to start off with the bottom of the car, or the chassis, whatever you want to call it. Um, the main floor is done with uh, um, tester, I mean not testers, the Tamiya semi-gloss black. Tamiya flat black on the drive shaft. Uh, Vallejo natural, sil natural steel on the differential. Um, <clears throat> aluminum on the transmission and aluminum on the oil pan. The chassis rails are done in uh, gunmetal, light gunmetal. The wheelie bars are done with the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, metallic spray. I also detailed them out with a little bit of black on the springs here and a little bit of black on the wheels themselves. Uh, I did sand down the inner and outer parts of the wheels so they fit a lot closer. All right, let's flip this puppy over and let's see what else we did. So. In the engine compartment, on the power brake booster and the brake, master cylinder, I don't know if you guys are going to see that, oh yeah, there you go, right there. You can see, right there, is my backing line to the booster. I also painted the booster in a flat black, and I did the uh, top of the master cylinder with uh, uh, brass. Also added the uh, XL super coil you can see my spark plug wire uh, from the distributor goes to the coil um battery post a little bit of detailing on those did the caps with gold uh, gold uh, pen uh installed the, the fan and all the pulleys and stuff these are aftermarket carburetors i still don't know if the uh, velocity stacks will work there uh, radiator uh, and the radiator support were painted in uh, uh, semi-gloss black. The fan, the fan uh, radiator core itself was painted in aluminum. So now on to the interior. On the interior, I told you guys I was doing those seat belts, and as you can see, there's all my seat belts. Made the. Uh, I made the lap belts stand up just a little bit to differentiate between the uh, shoulder harness and the seat belts. Now, once this goes in here, and the roll cage goes in and gets secured. Let's see if I can get that in there. Come on now. Okay, there you go. Then I will attach these parts of the uh, shoulder harness to the seat belt, uh, to the uh, roll cage. But as you can see, this is how the interior is going to look. Of course, the seat's a little crooked right now, but let's get it in there straight. Come on, stay there. There you go. Uh, let's see the cooling system on the car uh, I had the little bypass hose way up here in the front my heater hoses and they have been drilled and go through the firewall and the inside the car uh, starter wires go down to the starter and hooked up to the battery I uh, painted the uh, radiator cap uh, so yeah this is a uh, it's looking pretty good to me. The radiator hoses were painted with uh, rubber black. And I tried to make clamps by painting just a little bit of silver on the ends of the hoses. I know you can't see it, but the lower hose is down and in there. Oh, yeah, you can see it. There you go. So, the only thing left now for me to show you guys is the body. Now, I am slowly but surely learning how all of this stuff works. Um, when I first did the body, I didn't like it, so I restripped it and repainted it and da 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 da. As I was doing my wet sand on the body, I accidentally burned through right along this body line right here. So I had to make a decision what I wanted to do with this body. Do I want to strip it again and repaint it, or let me see what could be done? So I started looking at the instructions. And lo and behold, they give you <coughs> these decals. 
And these decals just happen to go right on that body line. So, problem solved. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, um, whatever company is supposed to was this. AMT. I appreciate that. Uh, so, that takes care of the paint. So, that alleviate, alleviates a lot of my issues that I was going to have when I was trying to fix that little burn through. Now, I admit there are a couple of spots on here that need to get touched up. And when I did the door handles, I kind of messed up a little bit there. But I am still a newbie and I am still learning all of this stuff. I think the paint on this came out okay. It's got a nice gloss to it. I'm happy with that. So we're going to let this paint job go and say uh, experience number 12 or whatever. Anyhow, <clears throat> what I need to do to finish off the body is uh, there's two chrome inserts that go there. And that's these two guys right here. And then along the rocker panel, down here, go these two long pieces. Now, I also tried to do the wheel opening moldings with chrome pen. I kind of got it okay. I kind of missed in a couple of spots. Again, this is all a learning process. Next time, I will try doing bare metal, uh, bare metal uh, foil. So... Now that you've seen all of this, what I need to do, let me get this out of here so it don't fall. The only thing left for me to do on the engine is to install my headers. Now the way the instructions say to do it <laughs> is to put it, put the headers on the engine and slip it and there was no way that, that could be done. No way. So now, once these are like this, I know that I can fit this up in there and get it to where it belongs, twist it around, just like that, and bam, it's in there. And there it is on the bottom. So, I'll be doing that to finish off this model. So this model is this close to being completed. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to the da bench. And why am I showing you this box? Well, it's the box that the 67 Chevelle parts came in. And I just want to show you that actually there are no more parts. The only thing left on this one is the two hinges, which I'm probably not going to use. The factory seats that came with the kit and a couple chrome parts that I need for the hood and the rocker panels. Uh, the carburetors and I'm not going to use. I have to see if these velocity stacks will work. Um, there's a tachometer on here somewhere. I did see it earlier. Oh, it's right there. There's a tachometer. Probably going to use that. Uh, rear view mirror. So, with all that being said, let me get that out of the way. I'm going to show you from the beginning of this video some more progress that I have made. This car, the interior is complete except for these two pieces that have to get attached to the roll cage. But everything is secured. Uh, there's no more movement. And if you take a look on the inside, if I can get you a better picture in there. So... I want you guys to remember all of this because once I put the car together, I'm not going to take it apart to show you all of this again. So, um, <clears throat> the top of this chassis is totally complete. And also, as you can see, now the headers are on there. So, this part of the build is 100% complete. Now, I mentioned to you earlier in this video that I was going to... Uh, do a little cheating on this car uh, because I screwed the paint up by uh, burning through it when I was doing a wet sand. But <laughs> I decided to repaint the entire car. Right now uh, it's still uh, gassing out. It's about 24 hours right now. Uh, but I did repaint the entire car. You can see that the burn marks are gone. Oops. <laughs> On both sides 
and I think the paint came out really good the second time around or actually the third time uh, it still needs to get wet sand, but I'm going to wait another 24 hours before I do that. Man, I can feel the dust already accumulating on here. Uh, anyhow, um, with that being said, if I put this over here, and I put this over here, and I put this little piece of chrome on, and this little piece of chrome on, the windshield and the back shield, and those couple of chrome pieces I showed you earlier, this car is finished. Well, other than me doing some body work on a compound sanding and I'm not going to do any wet sanding. I don't think I'm going to do any wet sanding on here. If I do, uh, it'll be like a 10 and 12,000 grit. Nothing, nothing rougher than that. Anyhow, now I could say uh, I'm going to make this a cliffhanger. Yes, sir. I'm not going to show you the complete uh, car until I do the, um, the 65 Nova. I mean Chevelle uh, up to the status of this and I'm pretty close with that also so with all that being said hope you enjoyed this video and as always your questions comments input subs shares and likes are always welcome for now that's all